Knowledge can come from many places. Just be sure that it's from above. From above. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Madra here. Today, I'd like to share day one with you from a devotional that I wrote. It's called Think Like an Ant, and it's a 14-day devotional workbook that reflects on wisdom and secrets from ants, of all things. So there are two verses in the Bible that kind of sparked my interest in ants. One of the verses reads, Four things on earth are small, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they provide food in the summer. Proverbs 30, 24 through 25. So I did a small study on ants, and this is where I got the idea to just kind of focus on wisdom that comes from them. There's another verse that speaks on the wisdom of ants. It says, go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Without having any chief officer or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Proverbs 6, verses 6 through 11. So on day one, let's look at the focus scripture which is Joshua 10 and 13. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the nation had avenged themselves of their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? And the sun stayed in the midst of heaven and hastened not to go down about a whole day. So, you know, one principle that we can pull from that is that time is a resource that could be measured It could be measured by the sweat and the tears that's poured into it. But only God, the Almighty, can redeem it, right? So there was a study from Harvard and Florida State, and it revealed that ants first appeared around 130 million years ago, right? So they know how to stand the test of time. They're wise about the value of time. They work on a particular activity. They stick to their schedule because they are extreme planners. They seem to know how to sense winter and summer seasons, which are very critical for planning. They're neat creatures. They're extremely organized. They devise plans for future. They gather their resources and they bring them back to their home front, right? They'll use what they find for daily meals and winter storage, which is awesome. So God designed us to gather, share, enjoy, and to save our resources as well. Wisdom cries out for us to get prepared in season and out of season for ourselves as well as our family. So we need prayer. We need observation to have discernment to know the seasons that we're in, just like the ant. We must know the right time to work, to share, to use, or to save whatever God gives us to steward. It could be the difference between famine and feast in our lives. So maximize your time. God is able to make the miraculous happen in your plans. I hope you enjoy day one of Think Like an Ant. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have not had a chance, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you'll get reminders of the next video and hit the like button. It helps to spread the gospel and it grows the community. God bless you. Talk soon.